Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is the shadow DOM and how we handle the shadow DOM element in the Selenium web driver by using the Java. So let's first understand what is the shadow DOM. So shadow DOM is used for encapsulation. Okay, what encapsulation? This ensures that all the JavaScript and CSS written against this new DOM can be fully encapsulated. When we add new HTML ID class, it does not say whether it clashes with the current name used on the website, right? So shadow DOM is even sections area by using shadow DOM, we can separate the HTML DOM with the main DOM object. The shadow DOM allows the author of a component to build its own DOM, which is separate from the regular DOM, right? In this way, developers, authors, they are encapsulating the JavaScript as well as the CSS selectors, CSS. In this way, developers, author, they are encapsulating, separating their CSS selectors as well as the JavaScript by creating a shadow DOM because shadow DOM separate your DOM from the main DOM. This is kind of own DOM structure. The structure of the DOM is normally hidden from us. So structure we cannot see, but we can see it in the developer tools. When we inspect the element, there we can see how the DOM structure looks like. Let's see. You can see here in the source code, shadow root is mentioned here. Second shadow root, right? One shadow root within another shadow root. So if this shadow root separate this section from the main DOM, so any CSS selectors what is applied here, it will not override our classes from the main DOM CSS selectors. If this CSS ID and class like wrapper, shadow content applied in the main DOM anywhere, it will not clash with this because this is a own DOM structure here. Okay, so this is the basic understanding of the shadow DOM. Now let's move and I will show how we handle this in the Selenium web driver because Selenium looks the element find the element only the element which is available in the main DOM structure right but if this is separate DOM structures selenium directly not find the locators from this element yeah so here let me show you how we handle the shadow root element by using the selenium web driver here is the application where we can see shadow root element. From front end, from UI, we cannot understand this element is coming under the shadow root or not. But if I inspect this and go to the developer tool, you will see here this element is coming under the shadow root. This is one shadow root, this is another shadow root. So here we have multiple shadow root. So let's try first understand how we get the text from the shadow root right so if i want to generally if i want to get the locators of this element so we can create like get the id right of this element or directly we can use the id of this element let me create css selector okay css selector is created here for the element shadow content. So now I'm going to copy the locator and let's try this in our test system. So I'm copying this selector, the locator of the element and let's add here. So I've already added one Python test, created one test, Python test file and uh, added some code which will navigate the URL after the browser is launched. So now I'm going to call here driver.findElement 
by the CSS selector and passing the locator. Text method and this is storing going to store in variable. Shadow text. Print. Now, if I want to run the test, so this is a pi test. So we need to run by using the pi test folder name and file name hyphen es so that we can see the console output. Okay, now you can see here no such element exception I am getting. It means now Selenium is not able to find this locator into the page. Why it's not found? Because as we discussed, shadow root, right? Any element which are coming under the shadow root, this is separate DOM. Now when we use the Selenium find element, it sets the element in the default DOM, right? It's not going to check the locators in the shadow DOM. So what we need to do in this case, first we need to identify the locator of the shadow, right? So this is the div ID shadow host directly. This shadow is coming under this element. So create the locator. Created the locator of the element. Now call the driver dot find element here. Search the locator, find the locator by that css selector okay now here we need to call side root side root it will return the search context object so like i'm going to store side root object If I mouse move here, you can see it's returning the shadow object. So by using this object, now here we can you call the find element to search the locators which are labeled under the shadow ele elements. Now let me run the test. You can see here, I'm able to get the text. Now, next steps, we have element nested shadow root. So this is one shadow root, right? There is another shadow root element which are coming under the one side, under the this shadow root. It means this is the nested shadow root. If we want to get the text of this side of root, then first of all, we need to switch in this outer side of root. Using that object, we will switch and go to the inner side of root. So now if I want to capture the text here, first of all, we need to create locator of inner side of root. Go to here. Now, I will not call the here driver we need to call the shadow root, outer shadow root object. Then find element by that CSS selector inner shadow root locator. Now again call here dot shadow root Okay, this will return one object I'm going to store in inner side root. Okay, so now 
by using the inner shadow root we can find the locator which is available yeah which is available under the outer inner shadow root right so by using the inner shadow root uh, object we can find the locators which is available under the inner shadow root so let me create locator right for the nested so this is the nested shadow content element pass this and then dot text we can store in a shadow text let me print and run now going to run again let's see the output you can see both first it capture the some text this is available in the outer shadow root and this is available in the nested shadow root. so how we get the uh, handle the nested shadow root so first of all we need to call the outer shadow root object by using the find elements and then dot shadow root then after use the same object to find the inner shadow root object then by using the inner shadow root object we can find the locators of the inner shadow root so in this way we can handle the shadow root objects okay now let's see if we are not creating a series selector for an element which is available in a shadow root i am going to create x path so this x path i am going to create double slash asterisk at the rate and now this is x path here we need to use x path let me run it here you can see we are getting invalid argument exception it means if we are using shadow root and we are trying to find the locators of a shadow root element then we need to pass the css selector x path is not supported there if we use the css selector then it will work hope this tutorial helps how to handle the shadow root element by using the selenium python and if you are coming first time and not subscribe the channel so please subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so that you can get latest video notification and share this tutorial to your friends colleagues and leave a comment if you have any questions